Hi, John Loveless here. I am on top of the roof today. You know why? Because it's awesome up here. We got solar panels. It's a nice semi overcast day today, but that doesn't matter too bad. This is an array that I put up um, five years ago, has it been? Five years, yeah. And over here is an array that I put up last year. Here's a view underneath the solar panels. As you can see, uh, you can kind of see the wires under there going from each panel. Um, there's a bit of the racking that the panels mount to. This is a flashing. It's really watertight. Works really well to keep these up mounted in super high winds, watertight for the next 30, 40, 50 years, however long they end up being up here. Matching them, right? there's also these ones right down here. Those were done last year. But this main array right here, this is a 6.2 kilowatt array. Put that up five years ago, been doing amazing. Just been really pleased with these panels. So, it's really cool how they all work. They're just tons and tons of little tiny cells. Each one of these squares, kind of technically an octagon, is a single cell. And they're all soldered together in a panel. These are 60 cell panels. These are 72 cell panels. This ends up being a 295 watt panel. This is enormous. This, this panel, you can't really tell the size from this view, but this thing's the size of a door. It is huge. Over six feet tall and about 43 inches across. So a big door size panel. And with all these solar panels, 11.4 kilowatts about, I can power everything in my house. Lighting, appliances, hot water, heating, air conditioning, yeah, all that stuff, and a couple of electric cars for free. The solar, the sun provides it all for free. Yeah, get some solar panels. Now, I encourage you, if you're handy, you can actually do it yourself. If you've ever shingled a roof before or added electrical to a house, it's, yeah, it's kind of tricky stuff and it's labor intensive, but it's not like you need a doctorate degree or anything. You just get a permit, you follow the directions, you click the wires together, they're like tinker toys. Bada boom, you just put them up. My roof isn't perfectly south facing, they're facing a little southeast. Eh, that doesn't matter. Just buy a couple more panels and forget about it. East facing, south facing, west facing, you're good to go. North facing, no, don't put them on the north side. You could bank them up steeper, but then one row will, will kind of like shade the other row. So it's, it's easier and better, just lay them flat. Whatever your pitch of your roof is, deal with it. If you're not comfortable with putting them up yourself, uh, look for a company that charges about, oh, three dollars a watt. This is before tax credits. You can find a company that charges you good prices like that, go for it. If you're handy, you can save yourself thousand dollars, you know, several thousand dollars more. So either way, um, get them. They're a great deal. They pay for themselves so quick now, especially if you can do it yourself. But even if you hire it out, you know, they're going to pay for themselves in five to ten years, sometimes shorter. Um, especially if you're driving an electric car and you're not paying for gas and you're then you factor that gas savings in oh, saves a ton of money okay free energy from the Sun thanks sunshine <laughs>